So we just had some heavy weather go through here tonight and we lost power. Power. And they were predicting 8.30 would be our time, so we're gonna be about two hours down. So we have some servers and different things here in the office we have to deal with. So I pulled out my little Ryobi, my little inverter uh, running off the little propane tank. I pulled that out. I think this is a 700 watt, 900 watt, 700 watt. So what this is doing is I ran a cord inside and it is powering two battery backups. And we'll go in there and check that out. But I've got three and I didn't want to put all three of them on one. So let's take a look at what happened inside. So the first battery backup is right here. And this one is running the router here for our full internet uh, system that feeds into, into our server here. This one, of course, is receiving enough power where it's got itself kind of shut down or it's in standby mode and it's activated and doing its thing, but it's not drawing battery down. The second battery backup right here is running the server, which is just behind that monitor. So this one is handling the main server, which is handling website things and some different NAS type things. Now that's the router and the server. Now we had one more thing. We had the modem that is coming in here with the fiber optic line, and I didn't really want to overwhelm that. So let's take a look at what we did with that. So for the final part, this is the 40 volt battery right there, the seven and a half amp hour battery. I took an extra battery backup, a battery, the right there, the power supply, the uh, UPS there. I plugged, this cord goes up to the one that is, is doing the modem from the fiber optic and it's doing our telephone system. So I plugged it into that, and then I plugged that into this the 40 volt inverter. This is a 300 watt. Now in this, because of this outage, I ended up having a second one from a different company, 300 watt. It wouldn't do it. It could not, it could not work on this. It was clicking in and out because there wasn't enough voltage. I also tried the 150 watt version from Ryobi for the smaller ones on the 18 volt. It didn't have enough ability. This did, and it's been running it fine. Now, let's take a look and see how much battery it's showing here. It's been on here for about 20 minutes, and hey, oh, oh our electricity just came back on. Woohoo! But it, we have, after about 20 minutes of runtime, we still have all four batteries and battery bars. Well, I guess, um, yeah, I can go shut things down and plug things back in. The electricity is back on here at the office. Anyway, game, I'm a huge fan of this unit. Um, I'm gonna put more information about this, but this is the 40 volt inverter here from Ryobi. It has the big battery on it. This is the big battery actually that comes with the mower, I believe. But just a really nice little unit. And let's give you the model number here. It's the RYI 300BG. You gotta check this out. This is going to be something, if you have a computer system and you need to put it to power the battery back up for an hour or two extra, this could be your solution right here. I'm really impressed with this. And my little inverter outside, we kept everything running. And as you hear now, the electricity is back on. So yay, we made it. It's John Young with the Weekend Handyman. For more tips and how-to videos, go to weekendhandyman.com.